back to Meta Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. Midnight Hellion, part two. Or do. All right, so yeah, part two. <laughs> so we were talking about ghettos earlier. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh... When I got your bodyguard now, because we're talking about the ghettos. Yeah, yeah. That guy's going to keep us safe. <laughs> He's real tough. He can't have a tennis ball in his pocket. But, uh, uh, when you... When I first went to the Trent, like, Trent, I went to that Trent show, mm -hmm. the first one that when I saw obituary there, a championship. Oh, yeah, back in November. Right. But uh, I didn't know, like, like how far Trenton was or, like, how scary it was. So, like, if I if I walk around, like, where you guys live, would I be raped? Uh, no. Not where we live, no. We're no. in the uh, suburbs of Trenton. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And even that area where uh, Trenton, where the champs is, isn't so bad. It's right on the border of Hamilton, but there's some really nasty sections. Yeah, is there Not a, too far away from there, either. It's, like, two blocks over and... You don't want to be walking there. Because <laughs> Champs, I mean, it's like, the neighborhood seemed pretty nice. I'm yeah. like, it doesn't seem scary to walk around. I was, like, kind of surprised. Well, those things like, like oh, you want to go there, there's people that murdered in the streets. And I'm like, I don't know. Well, driving to get there can be a little bit uh, risky sometimes, <clears throat> like some of the neighborhoods you can go down. But uh, if you just know where you're going type of thing. Oh, yeah, I want to go two blocks from Champs. Exactly. Like, the uh, right across the street, I used to uh, give this one guy a ride home that used to work there. And when I'd play there with various bands, and... He's like, okay, well, I'm not walking there. I need to take a cab or grab a ride. It's like, dude, it's two blocks away. It's like, yeah, but I've already gotten mugged. I lost all my teeth once. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm not, like, I'm yeah, not a fan of that, yeah. Exactly. But for champs is, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, we had uh, Papa's Pizza there. Mm -hmm. Have you had Papa's Pizza? Never had it, no. Okay, you guys live in Trenton. I was going to ask about more about Trenton Pizza. Cause that, <laughs> oh, De Lorenzo. Yeah, yeah. De Lorenzo. The, the best pizza place that was there already closed. So. Yeah? You guys got to try Papa's. It's right... Literally, like, like a block, like a block from, Ch from Champs, like on the right hand side. We went there, it was like amazing. Going towards South Broad or towards walking, the, uh, I don't know. If you're in Champs no, and you're on Chamber Street, make a left or a right? Left, okay, right, and it's on the right hand side, right. left or right? right. Is it right? <laughs> left, whatever, it's like it's, it's 800, <laughs> it's 800, okay, yeah, yeah, Champs, so they go left, Champs, seven, seven, I, yeah, 791, I think it is, 931, 931, 931 yeah, yeah. it's literally, but we went there, it was, it was amazing. So. Nice. Uh, uh, Rossi's is good too. Yeah, Rossi's, Rossi's is awesome. That's right right the corner. Yeah, it's like right across the street and around the corner. It's a burger. Like yeah. Rossi's Tavern. Yeah, it's, it's like Rossi's right Italian. Right. Italian. <laughs> <laughs> or if you want uh, like fine dining, there's a Michi Milano, which is like one of the old school Chambersburg restaurants. Really, really good stuff. It's, no. You're not into Italian? Not into fine dining. Oh, it's not like... It's probably the only way to try to I just say, it is worth the, It definitely is worth the trip. Really? Yeah. You've been on some romantic dates? Oh, absolutely. You should have my hand, though. Yeah, we, we, we able to steal the deal at a trip for bringing them there? Well, yeah, just <laughs> go to the other Penny dropper at that restaurant? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, uh, what, are, what are the biggest drags uh, about being like a like an unsigned, like up-and-coming band type thing? What is the biggest, what's the worst part about it? Um... I mean, really, we haven't really hit a brick wall, so because we've only been around for a little bit over a year at this point. So, like, so far, we've been really fortunate. We've uh, been in various bands before, so we've all made uh, contacts when we we're in those bands, and they've also given us a really good opportunities. And our first gig, um, and uh, Champs was actually opening up for Warbringer. It was like actually the first gig we were supposed to have was supposed to be opening up for Forbidden. Oh, so, like, right there, yeah. like, wow. that's right. Right. a great first gig to have. Champs actually gets bands and. You know, we yeah. live right there. You know, we know the promoter there. Yeah. So we can show him those bookings. She rolls. Nice. Out. Yeah. She rolls. Yeah. And uh, Ed Farshte from Wendigo, salt of the earth individual. Uh, he's actually hooking us up for the artillery show and hooked us up for Morbid Saint. Uh, Keith Carney from Fallout Z. He got Morbid Saint as well. And Whiplash got us on there. Great dudes in general. Vinny Bacicchio from Signature Riff. Another great guy that looks out for everybody. Jeff Rapport, Federal TV. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the hand job. Yes, absolutely. Uh, uh, did you get that in the video, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's, that's why we're sitting like this. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Drew was saying that uh, we haven't been around enough to hit a brick wall, and I think that's kind of true. Like, we're still, you know what I mean? We haven't we haven't gone to a plateau yet, you know what I mean? We, we're not... We so haven't gotten frustrated. This is still the early days. Right, this is still like getting up the local, yeah. local, local scene, you know what I mean? Yeah, I was actually going to say, I mean, you guys, it's like you came out and you guys immediately started playing, like, with all these, like, great bands. It wasn't like you were playing at, like, somebody's basement. All of a sudden you're like, okay, we're opening for Forbidden, you know, yeah. Forbidden, but we're, we're, bringing, we're playing with Deceased. We're playing with all these, like, these we're amazing really bands. Really 
I mean, like, what's that like? I mean, you go from like, okay, we're going to do this band, and then all of a sudden you're playing with guys that you look up to. I mean, what's that like? Well, I mean, in general, it's always been cool just uh, sharing the stage with anybody in general, whether it be locals or national acts. But it's nice uh, that we're getting the opportunity that we've already established ourselves in other bands. That way we can just jump ship right into it. So we are, I think we do have a leg up in that regards. But just playing with these guys, it's very, very nice. It's always a fun time hanging out with them. Yeah. Some of them got to meet, uh, got to know more personally to like King Fowley from Deceased. Uh, just like people in general, it's just like uh, uh, dudes what from Yeah, the shit. yeah, they're Those. very, very cool dudes, and uh, they're looking to come back over east. We're gonna hopefully hook up with them again, do another show. So we're we've been establishing things. Everything's been going really swimmingly. Uh, I, think it's worse. Worse. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's also very fortunate that we live in the uh, northeast. Like we're an hour away from Philadelphia, an hour away from. So we're very fortunate, like, where we live. Yeah, you're yeah. in a great location for that. Right. Definitely. And, like, any show we all go to, we always spread the word about whatever we're, we're doing, like, stickers we always have in our pockets. So it's like we're always getting the word out there even more so. <coughs> Foot Patrol. Excuse me. Yeah, exactly. Foot Patrol. So, like, uh, yeah, you went to see, um, what was that, Onslaught. So, like, okay, right there. Just take the opportunity. Right. Get our name out a little bit more. Now, every, every show I've seen you guys at, you've seen, I mean, I, I've seen you back three times now. But you've had a great reception at every show. Has, has there been any I missed that where the reception wasn't so good? Because you guys are playing with some sometimes heavier bands where people are like, well, I'm not digging this. Cause it's well, well, I, I, I can see there's no like bad reception, but there's you know definitely a show. If, there, if there's like 10 people at a show, they're not going to be like, you know, just, they, it requires many people to get into it, I think, like at a metal show. You know? Right. So like 10 people, yeah, you know, they're clapped, they liked us, but they weren't like going crazy, you know. And also, too, a lot of those t- uh, shows where we'll have a lesser crowd is when it's a uh, 21 plus show. Yeah. So it's like the all ages shows, we always found that we always get a better reception because the kids are more into it in the sense of like they dance into it and everything like that. Because let's face it, once you hit a certain age, you can't, your body can't take it anymore. You don't feel like doing that. Right. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. I could go anywhere near the mosh pit myself. Yeah. I yeah. like. And Brian's where he's only 30 and he's yeah. already staying away from it. I never went in in the first place. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's not like an attractive that. place to be. Oh, exactly. Maybe I've never been a monster, but <laughs> no. you're just like being on the guardrail nowadays. So I went to go see Slayer maybe seven, eight years ago, and I was right in the front on the guardrail. And it's like, I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? It's like, this is bad. Yeah, you get your rib cage, like, <laughs> exactly. Beaten. But when I was like 14, 15, I loved it. It's like, oh, yeah, and battle scars. <laughs> yeah, I was actually surprised when we went to Occupation Domination. I think I outlasted Brian. That brought, like, you know, that was like an all-day thing. What kind of that show start? We were there like one or two. Not an all-day show guy. Yeah. Never had been. Never was. Mm-hmm. But I was like, I'm still like, I was tired, but I'm like, I can still keep going. Yeah. But I don't think I could do uh, a metal fest anymore. I'm not sure if I could do three days. I think it's just be it's entirely too much for me. Well, it depends, though, too. If it's like an arena setting where, like, where there's uh, seats, so you have time to relax, hang out. Not the seat thing. I don't know if my, I just can't stand listening to that much music. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not for three days straight, you know. I, mean, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's like yeah. loud, loudness. For three yeah, days. constantly. Yeah. I, I, I was always the one that those shows. I enjoyed the show. I enjoyed the schmoozing mm-hmm. as much as I enjoyed the show. Exactly, I hear you. And on the schmoozing break, let's take a quick break. Whatever that, that made no sense. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll come back and do some more schmoozing on the break. That take a break and break. All right. <laughs>